day and thank you so much for joining me today back in Newtown. This Saturday our yoga practice is about freedom. Moksha is the word in Sanskrit that means freedom and in yoga philosophy we're really talking about the ultimate goal of spiritual liberation when we say moksha. The, uh, the mind is what we're trying to free. Mind is trapped by expectations, regrets, and fears because it identifies solely with the physical body. Moksha implies freedom from the world and desires, thereby preventing reincarnation and the endless cycle of suffering that the Buddha talks about. We trying to be in the world, active and participating and creating, but not solely of the world. So the way we do this is by fulfilling our dharma, by fulfilling our God-given purpose and our responsibilities to one another. So then we have this freedom to uh, liberate ourselves from the mundane world of uh, pleasure and desire. Now, We'll pay attention to the breath as we practice because the breath is really the bridge that links the physical and the spiritual world. So we have the messenger of the breath to listen to and learn from. There's a quote by Eckhart Tolle that says, true salvation is a state of freedom. Freedom from fear, from suffering, from a perceived state of lack and insufficiency and therefore from all wanting, needing, grasping and clinging. It is freedom from compulsive thinking, from negativity and above all from past and future as a psychological need. Now, the mantra is to honor Krishna Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva Om and salutations to the Blessed One who is the dwelling place of light. And the mudra is the eagle mudra, Garuda mudra. Now as an American we naturally associate the eagle with freedom and eagles have strong wings that lift it high above the earth to soar freely wherever it chooses. Garuda, the mythical king of birds, is often depicted with the body of a strong man, the face, and with an eagle's beak, and red or golden wings, and a crown on his head. He can be so large that he blocks out the entire sun. And just as the wings of a bird must be strong, balanced, and lifted by the wing, Garuda Mudra represents strength, balance, and freedom. You make this mudra by bringing the left hand to the chest and crossing the right palm on top and interlocking the thumbs. So you have the fingers spread like wings over the chest. And you can lift your heart up into this mudra, into this gesture of freedom, strength. It activates blood flow, circulation, and respiratory health. With regular practice, there's increased prowess, intelligence, and digestive fire, and it helps to balance energy levels. With this stability and freedom, the overall emotional field is more harmonized and there's fewer mood swings. To add to this mudra, we have our ujjayi pranayama. Ujjayi means victorious and naturally uprising and to conquer. It's breathing along the back of the throat by constricting the glottis and the 
neck. And it helps to enhance your focus mind and, and enhance, increase your breathing capacity. And the soft echoing sound teaches you how to breathe with an even flow. Now to dedicate this practice to Krishna, we'll chant the mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva three times. Inhaling, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya now take your eagle wings wide, open the heart, and exhale, round the back, sweep the arms forward, and inhale, lift the chest, spread your wings, and exhale, round and draw in. And alternate which arm comes on top. A few more deep breaths, rocking back and forth on the hips. Good. And now, taking and the hands to the knees, begin to circle around on the hips. Mobilizing the spine, the hips and pelvis, these slow circles. And then change, then circle back the opposite way. Come up to the center, bring the right hand to the floor, lift the left arm up and crescent over to the right side, pressing the right palm down and away so the rib cage moves up and out to the side. Inhale, lift up and switch, left palm down, reach over with the right arm. And inhale, switch. And once more to the other side. And then come up with the left arm, cross the left arm over the right knee and twist to the right side, looking to the right. And inhale, right arm up and twist to the left side. Inhale, left arm up and twist to the right. And inhale, right arm up and twist to the left. Now open the arms above the shoulders and glide from side to side. Then come over onto hands and knees into table pose. Practice the little cat and cow for spreading the fingers, widening the knees, and keeping lots of space between the knees and the ankle and the el <laughs> wrists. Inhale, look up to the sky, and exhale, look down to the earth. Inhale for sway back cow, and exhale to the angry cat back. Keep the hands strong, fingers clawing the mat, 
and the inner arms hugging into the midline with magnetic attraction the way Krishna has that attractive energy symbolized by that flute music that draws us in and raptures us with the promise of the self the fulfillment of our dharma of knowing ourself loving ourself now with knees together circle the hips around in big circles And when you're ready, change the direction, circle the opposite way. Then widen the knees, curl the toes under, and lift up the knees, keep the knees bent. And tiger dog, inhale and exhale. Expanding and contracting with your breath. Keep hugging the inner arms to the midline, anchoring the shoulder blades on the back. Now lower the knees down and take the right arm out to the side and twist and thread the right arm under the right shoulder and the right side of the head on the mat. And as you exhale, pull the navel in and open the shoulders, looking up under the left armpit, and stretching in the back of the neck. And inhale, release, lift up the shoulder. Take the left arm out to the side and thread the left arm under as you exhale. Tuck the chin and press down on the mat with the outside of that left arm and the right fingertips. Use the neck muscles to protect the neck and the spine. Creating safe boundaries in your practice by using that muscular energy in the neck muscles. Protect the cervical spine. Inhale, lift the left shoulder up. And walk the feet to the middle of the mat. Widen the feet turning the toes out if needed so that you can squat down with the elbows inside the knees. You can have the heels up if you want and just lean some of the weight of the inner knees on the back of the elbows and arms. Take deep breaths into the hips. And slowly start to straighten the legs, folding to a wide leg forward bend. Walk the hands out in front of you, clawing the fingertips. Unlock the knees and lean back into the heels so you have some traction through the shoulders and spine. You're decompressing the lower back. And straighten one knee at a time, letting the hips Rock side to side. And inhale up all the way to standing. Take a wide stance. Here I'll turn to face you with a wide stance for starlight pose. Tarasana. Shine through your fingers out into the stars 
down through the legs and feet into the earth. Enjoy the freedom to reach out to the heavens while staying grounded on the earth. Now bring hands to the hips and draw the shoulders up and back and fold halfway at the hips, soften the knees, unlock the knees, inhale, lengthen the back of the neck and exhale, slide the hands down the shins. Inhale, relax the knees, lengthen the spine and neck and exhale, fold over straight legs. Inhale, expand in the lower back and the shoulders. And exhale, squeeze in the kneecaps and lift up through the navel. Now inhale, lift up again. Take the arms out and clasp the hands behind the back. Rolling the shoulders up and back, squeeze the shoulder blades in, and then fold forward once more. Now lifting the knuckles up towards the sky. Inhale, unlock the knees, and exhale, lift up the navel, straighten the legs. Two more deep breaths. to keep those shoulder blades from collapsing down around the neck. Keep drawing those shoulder blades up to the middle of the back. And now release the hands down to the mat. Bend the right knee and glide the hips to the right. And then switch and bend the left knee and glide over to the left. And you can just keep the hands supporting under the shoulders or skandasana, you hold on to the ankles as you go from side to side, going as low as possible. And then come into the center. Inhale, lift all the way up, raise the arms. And exhale, palms down to the heart. Now, step to the front of the mat. Our fearless heart, namaskara. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale up halfway, step right foot back and lower the right knee down. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, lower hands down. Step the left foot back to downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Or inhale, cobra or up dog. Now, back to down dog. Lift the right leg up. And step the right foot through, lower the left knee down. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, hands to the mat. Step the left foot forward, inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, lift the arms, touch the palms. And exhale, release them down. Others. Same thing, starting again. Inhale, lift the arms, but initiating the other side. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back and lower the left knee down. Inhale, raise the arms, Anjaneyasana. And exhale, hands down. Step the right foot back. Downward dog. Now inhale, high plank. And exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now, lift the left leg up. And step the left foot through. Lower the right knee down. 
and inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lower hands. Inhale, step right foot forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. And exhale, hands rest at your side. Okay. Step right foot back for warrior one. Bend the left knee. Square the hips. Now hold that alignment with muscular energy in the core of the pelvis. Pull the navel to the spine and reach up with your arms. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Now coming to warrior three, balance on the left leg, lift up the right foot. Inhale, extend and lengthen the spine and exhale, lift the back leg a little higher. Don't lock out the standing leg. That left knee has a little flex in it. You can go up and down and you can even open the arms wide and flap your eagle wings. Big, slow movements. And then come up to mountain, standing straight, lift the arms, and exhale, rest them. Then just take the left foot back for warrior one, and bend the right knee. Make sure the feet are solid, align the hips, and when you have your foundation, hold that with muscular energy, pulling the navel in, Pressing the inner left thigh back and hugging the muscles to the bone. Raise the arms and relax with your breath. Hear the breath with your jai breathing. And then lean forward, come into warrior three, balance on the right leg, and slowly lift the back leg higher. Stay there or add a little movement with the arms, flapping your wings. arms, set both feet together, and rest, arms down to the side. Now, I'm going to practice Eagle Pose, Garudasana, and for this, we'll open the arms, and then sweep the right arm underneath the left, cross the elbows, and bring the palms to touch. Bend the le knees, Bend the left knee and cross the right leg over the left. Wrap the legs in, squeeze them together. Roll the shoulders up and back. Pull the navel in and try and squat down a little deeper, bringing the eagle into his nest. Then lift back up. Now, Keep the arms in eagle, toe touch back with the right foot, and come back into that balance warrior three position, lifting the back leg. And lower the back foot down, warrior one position, and lift the elbows and arch back. And release that. Step forward. Unwind the arms. Open them again. And then sweep the left arm under the right. Hook the elbows. Press the palms together. 
balance on the right leg and bend the right knee. You're going to cross the left knee over the right, wrap them around each other and squeeze them together. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and back. Exhale, squeeze in the navel, crouch down, bring the eagle to its nest. And lift it up. Unwrap that left leg. Balance on the right for warrior three, keeping the eagle arms. And slowly step back down with the left foot. Warrior one, lift the elbows and arch back. And release the arms, step the left foot forward. <laughs> and take a vinyasa, inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, fold, hands down, walk back, high plank. And exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now lift the right leg up. And step the right foot through for warrior two. Open the arms. Gaze to the right fingertips. Now inhale, roll the shoulders up and back. And exhale, pull through the navel, deepen the pose. Lower the hips. On the inhale, lift the arms, straighten the right leg. And exhale, open the arms, bending the knee once more. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, open out. Lift the right palm up, reverse warrior. And exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse the warrior. And exhale, extend, side angle. Once more, in reverse warrior. Now, Hold the left hip, tap the back foot in, bring the right fingertips down for balance on the floor under your shoulder. And then to half moon pose, we'll lift the back leg, turn the toes out, and press down through the standing leg, draw in through the navel, and lengthen the tailbone, then start to open the chest, expand, Widen the arms. And to release, look down and lower the left foot next to the right. Folding and relaxing. Inhale, sweep up. And exhale, hands to the side. Inhale, sweep up the arms. And exhale, fold forward. Step back to high plank. And exhale to low plank. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. And lift the left leg up. And step the left foot through for warrior two. Open the arms, and gaze to the left fingertips. Inhale, broaden the chest, balance, stability. Firm muscular energy in the core of the pelvis. Then inhale, lift the arms, straighten the left knee. And exhale, open the arms, come back down. And use the inner right leg to help you lift and lower with more ease and control. So both legs have equal partnership in the creation of this movement.
Good. Bend the left knee. Turn the left palm up. Reverse the warrior. And exhale. Bring the right arm forward over the ear. Side angle. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, extend side angle. And come into that side angle. Bring the right hand to the hip. Tap the back foot in closer. And then balance on the left leg. Lift the right leg up. And open the right hip by turning the right toes out to the side. Pull the navel in so you have the stability to open up. And even look up, if you wish, to that right hand. Lengthen out through the right leg. Flex the foot and spread the toes wild. And look down, release the right foot next to the left, the knees bent, and the back just rounding, releasing, resting. Inhale, sweep up, touch the palms, and exhale, hands to the heart. Garuda Mudra. Fingers spread over the chest. Now, doing more standing balance with dancer pose. Bend the right knee, catch the right foot in the right hand, and lift the left arm. Inhale, and then exhale. Start to lift the back thigh up. Keep the chest lifted. Keep it a back bend and not a, a forward bend. Next stage, the diving dancer is to slide that left hand carefully down the leg and shin. Hopefully reaching the ankle. up, inhale, release, the right foot down, arms back in Garuda Mudra, over the chest. And balancing now on the right leg, bend the left knee, and reach down to the left ankle. Lift up the right arm. And draw the arm bone down into the shoulder socket and the shoulder blade onto the back. Hug the left knee into the midline. And use muscular energy to stay focused here in the core. Stay grounded and steady. And then you'll have the freedom to reach up and out. Lift the back thigh up. Lift your gaze. Lift your spirits and soar freely. The next stage is coming to Diving Dancer, where we carefully slide the right hand down the right leg. Keeping that expansion in the chest. That Inhale, we'll lift up, release, and exhale, Garuda Mudra, hands at the chest. Let's come down to the floor, inhale, sweep the arms up, and exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees and sit down, extending your legs in front. Line onto your back. And lift the right leg up. Bend the knee and 
and lace the hands behind the right thigh. We're going to practice a series of stretches on our back before we try these standing balancing. So first, reclining, press out and up through that right foot so that right thigh can press into the hands and the shoulders and head stay on the floor. Inhale, softening that right knee and exhale, extending and lengthening the leg. So on a, after a series of breaths, you might be able to walk the hands higher up onto that calf or even hold to the big toe while keeping the left thigh down. And you can use a strap around the foot. And try and keep the whole body straight, flat, flush on the floor. Now we're opening the right leg to the right side. The left arm might open to the opposite direction. And keeping that left shoulder down, look over the left shoulder. Now bring the right leg up and cross the right leg over to the left side. You can bring that left hand around to the outside edge of that right foot and then twist, roll on to that left hip and look back over the right shoulder. And then bend the right knee and put the right foot on the floor. Cross the left ankle over the right knee and open the left knee to the side. Thread the needle with the left arm going between the legs and holding around the right thigh or over the right shin. If your head and shoulders are comfortably on the floor, you could also extend the right leg, walk the hands higher up the leg to the ankle, and even pull that leg up and over the head into plow. Now rolling back down, release the left foot to the floor, both feet down, and straighten the right leg, and lift the left leg up and hold the back of the left thigh, press the thigh forward into your hands, and press up through the ball mound of the big toe. Each inhale, see if you can bring the leg a little closer to your head and as you exhale, straighten the knee and feel a stretch in the back of the hamstrings, the back of the glutes. Breathe with your jai breath, hearing a smooth and even flow and start to open the left leg sideways to the left. Open the right arm and gaze over the right shoulder. Keep squeezing the kneecaps, pull the thigh bone up into the hip socket so there's a good integration in the, in the joint as you gaze to the right hand. Bring the left leg up and cross the left leg over to the right. Roll on to your right hip. And extend that left leg. Look over the left sh shoulder the opposite direction. Okay. 
come up to the center. Bend both knees. Cross the left ankle over the right knee. And then hug that right knee into the chest. Inhale, relaxing that stretch. And exhale, adding a little more intensity. Trying any variation. And extending into plow with that right leg. And releasing and rolling back to the floor. Ow. Let's do that all standing. Come up to stand. Oops. Standing. Focus Garuda Mudra. Balance on the left foot for hand to foot. Reach down with a strap or with your hand. And hold on to that right foot at the big toe or the outside edge. And then extend the right leg. Lift the chest and draw the shoulders back. And start to open the right leg to the side. Now bring the right leg to the center. Bend the knee to make it easier to reach with your left hand. Cross over to the outside edge. Re-extend the right leg. And start to twist. Look over the right shoulder towards the right hand behind you. Now bend the right knee once more. Bring it into half lotus. And that right heel up into the hip crease. Turn the knee out to the side. And then bind behind. <laughs> and start to fold forward. Inhale, release, standing back up. And letting the right foot, knee walk out. Back to your Garuda Mudra. Take a deep breath. Focus. Transfer the weight into the right leg. Bend the left knee. You reach down to the big toe or the outer edge with the left hand. And start to straighten the left leg in front. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and back. And exhale, pull the navel in. Press down through the standing leg. Lift up through the crown of the head. Open the left leg to the side. Open your right arm for counterbalance. And bring the left leg to the middle, bend the knee, cross the right hand over, and then re-extend that left leg for sailboat. Slowly turn your gaze and look to the left. And bending the left knee once more into half lotus. Lift that left heel up into the right hip crease. Hold it there or bind behind the back. Inhale, lengthen. <laughs> and exhale, begin to fold forward. Don't have to, it's just an option.
Okay. Now, release the legs, feet to the floor, lift the arms, and exhale, swan dive, fold forward, hands down, and walk it back to downward dog. Make some waves through the spine, inhale, rounding forward, and exhale, bending the knees to lift back up. Big Shakti waves of movement. Then come through to seated. Stand the legs forward. And rest on to your back. And lift up the knees for bridge pose. And press the feet down, lift the hips, and hold the hands under the back so you can tuck the shoulder blades up and under the heart, lifting the chest, lifting the chin, and lifting the hips. Inhale, lift up the hips. And exhale, squeeze in the buttocks and thighs. Inhale, rise to your full height. And exhale, hold with your inner strength. Now release the hands and lower the buttocks down. Take a resting breath. One hand to the stomach, one hand to the heart. Now, cross the right ankle over the left knee. Actually, let's go all the way into that eagle legs, crossing the right knee on top of the left knee. Then, open the arms, slide the hips to the right, and twist both knees to the left. Draw the navel in and lengthen this right hip down and away. One more long, smooth breath. And inhale, lift the knees up. Uncross the knees, move the hips to the left. And cross the left knee over the right knee. Let the eagle legs squeeze together. And then twist the knees, both knees, to the right side of the mat. Look over the left shoulder. Enjoy the freedom of deep breaths. Hearing in the back of the throat that ujjayi, victorious breath. Letting you soar. And release to the middle. Uncross the knees. Center the hips and then hug both knees into the chest. Le lengthen the arms as you inhale and contract, compressing the knees more as you exhale. You can lift the head and shoulders as you exhale. Come into a little tight ball and inhale, roll back down. Lower the feet down to the mat, lift up the buttocks, and slide the backs of the hands underneath. Then you can lift both legs and invert the legs. Letting your feet and toes soften, the knees relax. 
and staying here is fine or lifting more into shoulder stand is an option with the hands supporting around the lower back. Keep the chin up and use the strength of the sh elbows and backs of the arms to press into the floor. The more you press down through the elbows and the backs of the arms, the higher you can lift up the hips and the straighter the tailbone can lengthen. Keep the chin up and whenever you're getting tired, you need to release, just bend the knees and round the back so you can roll carefully back down. So stay for another minute or vary the pose with wide legs or try and wrap the legs into eagle. Eagle legs. And then the other side, wrapping. And then releasing. If you haven't already, roll the spine down. Come up to seated. Turn around onto the floor, prone position. Open the left arm to the side with the palm face down. Press the right hand into the floor and start to roll towards that left shoulder and onto the left hip. Keep pressing down through the hand, left hand. Draw the navel in. If you bend the bottom knee, you'll have a little more stability. And you can use that top arm to make a half bow, bending the right knee and holding the right ankle. Kick that right foot back into the right hand and keep the neck from collapsing onto the floor. Use the strength of the neck muscles to keep it aligned with the spine. Now ease the side, roll flat onto your stomach and stretch the right arm out 90 degrees, palm face down. And now just roll on to your right hip. Draw the navel in. I bend the bottom knee for more balance. And then bind with the top hand if you want to make that half bow pose. And release this down onto your stomach once more. Make this whole practice an offering. Full pranam. Arms out. Namastasye. 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 Namo namaha. Offering up everything. the bad. Giving thanks for this embodiment and physical form. And then making your way onto your back for Shavasana. Lay back on your spine. into comfortable with your body resting taking up all the space you need removing any obstacles that are disturbing or distracting you eyeglasses props that sort of thing 
into this calm, peaceful place, spacious and free. You've done your duty. Now you can soar free with clear conscience. Letting the face and eyes relax, release, and soften. Relaxing the jaw and the neck, the shoulders. Relaxing the arms, the hands, and the fingers. Relaxing the chest, the back. Relaxing the stomach. Relaxing the hips. Relaxing the thighs, the knees, the shins. Relaxing the feet, the toes. Just letting this peaceful feeling of relaxation wash over you, filling you with the freedom of joy and happiness, the satisfaction of great practice, knowing you've done something good for yourself today. Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Now begin to deepen your breath and start to move and stretch again in your body. When you're ready to just roll over to your right side, pausing. And slowly making your way back to a seated position, cross-legged Sukhasana pose. Blessings to you all for this fine day. Enjoy your freedom. Namaste.